Tempered glazing often gets forgotten for homeowners and do-it-yourselfers. You got a remodel project going on, you're building an addition, and you're putting in a bathroom, you got some cool windows you're putting in there, or maybe you've got some windows in other locations that require what they call safety glazing, or tempered glazing, or uh, safety windows. It all kind of means the same thing. It's just glass that's protected in case someone falls through it. And I'm in here doing a uh, final inspection in a new house and they have a window in a bathroom. So today I just wanna chat a little bit about uh, requirements for safety glazing in bathrooms. Just so you kind of have an idea about it. Safety glazing is required in other areas, um, but today we'll just kind of talk a little bit about bathrooms. So if you're out there, you've got a project and uh, you got a window in your bathroom that you're putting in, just make sure you know if you need to temper it so you don't have to go back later and either replace it, uh, tear it out, swap the glass out, or uh, whatever your, uh, your building department might require. I have had people ask me about putting film on it. So they didn't temper it, it was required. They asked about putting film. So that would be up to your building department. If you got a permit for it and uh, they're out there looking at it, you know, it'd be up to them whether or not they require it because the film isn't etched and tempered glazing needs to be etched so that it's labeled as such. So let's take a peek and what we have here, and I'll kind of show you what to think about when you're doing your bathroom and when you need to think about safety glazing. Okay, so this particular bathroom has this window right here. And if we walk over in the bathroom, we can see the tub. So if I was to stand in that tub right there and I was to measure in, a, in 180 degrees, so that'd be a half circle, all the way around if I'm standing in the tub and I'm measuring five feet, 60 inches. And if I was to hit a window within 60 inch arc of standing in that tub, which I hit that one, because it's only you know, maybe a foot or so away from it. And then the second thing would be if I'm within five feet of the ground. So you can see right here, I'm definitely within five feet of the ground for this lower pane that would be required to be safety glazed, tempered glazing or, or whatever you prefer to call it. Now, if I was to measure all the way up and this pane right here was over five feet, I would not need to temper the upper part. That's good to know in case you forget and you get lucky and that's above five feet, you could just replace the lower section of glass and you would be okay. This particular window, both panes are tempered and I'll show you the etching. You can see right there that it's etched and it says tempered on it. And the same is true for the upper pane, whether or not they required or not, it looks like it's definitely within five feet. So it would need to be tempered, which is what they did. So if you are a homeowner out there and you're thinking about remodeling your bathroom, you got some windows you're replacing, just make sure you know if you need to temper it. It's so much easier to just do it right the first time than to go back and try to figure out how to, how to take care of it. So again, if you're standing in that tub and you measure in a 60 inch or five foot arc around here and you hit a window that's within five feet of the ground, it needs to be tempered. So this has been with Building Code Tips. That's just a quick rundown on safety glazing in bathrooms. I hope this helps you out. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe button for more videos and uh, visit buildingcodetips.com for all kinds of guides on uh, building code, construction code, plumbing code, and, and just construction tips. I mean, the ultimate goal is to help out homeowners out there. As an inspector, it's one of the best parts of my job is to help homeowners get through their projects. And I hope this helps you out.